الاسلام صغير المراقبين استهداف شبابه Under the mantra, on the path to truth with a woman's pen, the all-female Jin news agency seeks to expose exploitation and violence faced by women. Jin News is pursuing journalism wherever women are, in every aspect of their life, with the aim of making women's work visible, women's existence visible, and providing a platform to express their views. Jin is based in Turkey's predominantly Kurdish southeast, the center of a decades-long insurgency by members of the country's biggest ethnic minority. With Jin reporting on alleged human rights abuses by security forces against women, including rape, the agency has become a target accused by authorities of airing terrorist propaganda. We lived through many oppressions that targeted female journalists, like arrests, detentions, office raids, and confiscation of our technical equipment. Almost 20 of our colleagues have been in and out of prison. Authorities have shut down Jin's webpage at least 10 times. Each time it reopens under a different name. Turkey routinely detains journalists, accusing them of anti-state crimes. This month, it was ranked as the world's second worst jailer of journalists. But it's not only Jin's reporting on contentious subjects that makes it a target. They're not treated as journalists. They're treated as terrorists. And this is the problem. Uh, the government doesn't understand that uh, there is a right to uh, do uh, objective or you know, journalism in the region. Other reason why women is because, you know, in this last year we've seen a particular intolerance uh, by government officials um, of women's rights activism. Women's rights movements across Turkey have become one of the most vocal and visible opponents to the government as it attempts to reverse hard-won gender rights and amid ministerial calls to withdraw from an international convention on women's rights. Despite the threat of police raids, Jin News is not stepping back. Fear doesn't even enter our mind. Of course, we wish to be able to write in a safer environment. But if you are advocating for a free press, there shouldn't be a place for fear, because fear makes you stand back. But with the government claiming Turkey is facing unprecedented threats and vowing no let up in its war against terrorism, for Turkey's Jin News Agency, its battle to bring a woman's perspective to journalism is said to be a long one. Dorian Jones, VOA News, Istanbul.